Hi, Jeff Demore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today I would like to speak with you about one of CAC's most popular products, um, CAC's Corelock Air Shaft. Today I'll be speaking with you about CAC's uh, more standard, common air shaft. Um, one of the things uh, that we do manufacture air shafts with um, different uh, modifications. For example, this air shaft on the unwind stand has um, lateral adjust built into it. This is our lateral adjust and uh, we have it uh, piped with a rotary union um, and I've, I've covered this air shaft in a, in a separate video on our website. So if you take a look at our website, you'll, you'll find a whole video uh, specifically just for this air shaft. And, um, but this one has the air ported in uh, through a rotary, rotary union through the journal in the back and that allows you to um, uh, load or unload rolls of material. But today I'm going to be speaking, speaking with you mostly about CAC's common, um, more standard air shaft. And that's this, this air shaft has a, uh, a through bore. So most of CAC's air shafts are supplied with through bore, so there's a hole through the middle. So no matter what length or diameter of air shaft you buy from us, our common application is a through bore through the center. Um, we manufacture air shafts in different lengths and diameters. This is a three inch diameter, obviously very standard. We also manufacture, um, I have a, a, an example of a six inch diameter here. And um, this is a, an air shaft that's very long. Same exact construction as the one I just showed you. It's just a much longer length. The nice thing is we normally manufacture air shafts out of aluminum, so they're lightweight, they're easy to handle. So we, even when you're dealing with a a very long length, they do remain light. The um, air shafts are available up to about 10 feet long, so 120 inches is about the longest we make them. Um, we, the inside, the internal construction of the air shafts is always the same regardless of diameter. So I did mention six inch and three inch, but we also manufacture uh, special diameters. We've done six and three quarter for a specific core size. We can do metric sizes, we can do four inch, five inch. We do um, really, the way our construction for our air shafts are is we can make almost any diameter. As long as we get a core sample from you, we can pretty much make any diameter uh, air shaft. But um, the internal construction is always the same regardless of diameter or length. So this, this air shaft, I loosened up the set screws, but this end cap comes off very easily. And then what you will do um, inside this air shaft, you'll see the air shaft, the outside of the air shaft is made of what we call interlocking segments. It's a leaf type air shaft. These segments all interlock with each other. So you slide one of these out and then you can see the internal construction of this air shaft. So it's very simple. We machine a, a, a thread, a geometrically uh, engineered thread into the body of the air shaft. And then we wrap, um, we spirally wrap rubber tubing that mates up with that uh, geometrical shape inside the inside of the air shaft. We wrap that around. On one end, we have the valve coming in, so the air travels through the valve, through this copper extension, into the hollow rubber tubing. It's clamped here, and on this end, we simply have a plug, and it's clamped here. So the air comes in, uh, pressurized air, and then the rubber tubing expands underneath the uh, segments, and that's uh, the expanding segments come out and engage your core. Um, <coughs> CC's air shafts, again, our standard air shaft has a through bore, but they are available with journals. We can manufacture this for the built-in journal. We can manufacture this out of steel for real heavy applications, so if you're dealing with a very heavy roll weight, um, the, the air shaft would get heavier, but also it, it would be able to handle heavier applications. Um, <clears throat> this air shaft, again, is very light, and then what we do is we mount this to our lightweight through shaft. Now, you can supply, oftentimes our customers supply their own through shafts, and you can certainly supply your own through shaft. Um, CAC can supply the through shaft, and uh, one very nice design is CAC's uh, hollow through shaft. So the internal construction, this is a cutaway view, so we cut this section out, but we manufacture this through shaft with a, a hollow steel tubing. Most of the beam strength of a beam comes from the outside, so when you take out all this material inside, you lose a lot of weight, but you don't lose a lot of beam strength. 
And then we weld in uh, solid journals into the ends, and then we can machine those journals however they fit into your machine. Um, so this this is this uh, through shaft happens to be uh, hollow. It's the same design as that, but uh, we've made it so that it fits uh, this air shaft. So <clears throat> what you'll do is uh, the this is one and three quarter inch diameter. That's about the largest bore size we can put in a three inch air shaft. Obviously, six inch and larger core sizes can get larger diameters if necessary. But this through shaft just slides right into the air shaft. And then you'll see what, the way we clamp the through shaft, we want, we want to clamp this air shaft body to the through shaft. And the way we do that is with a split bushing. So if you look at the end, you'll see there's a bushing right here and that's split. So when I tighten up this set screw, you'll see that split bushing close onto the through shaft. All right, now that's closed onto the through shaft. So this is, the air shaft body is now locked to the through shaft without the set screw contacting the through shaft. So the through shaft will never get uh, marred or burred up. Then we do the same thing on this end. You'll see we have another split bushing if you'll watch that split bushing when I tighten the set screw, you'll actually see it close. Now that's tight on that through shaft. And then, um, also just to give you an idea, this is, you can see the split bushing on this air chuck. Now, a word about air chucks. Um, CAC manufactures air chucks. The air chuck is the, in all the same diameters as the air shafts. Um, the air chuck is the exact, exact same design as the air shafts, except it's a standard length. So the length of these leaves for a three inch, the length of these leaves is only five inches. Um, and what, because it's a standard length, we can make uh, stock quantities, uh, large quantities at a time. So we offer air chucks at a very special price when compared to air shafts. The only difference between an air chuck and an air shaft to us is that an air shaft is a custom length. So this is an air chuck because it's five inches long. This is an air shaft because it's longer. This is another air shaft because it's longer. And then even longer air shafts um, up to about 120 inches. So we take this assembly um, and I'll show you the leaves come out when I inflate it. So you take uh, an inflating gun and when I push this inflating gun up to this valve, you'll see those segments come out. So now the rubber tubing inside is inflated and those segments are all the way out. So you can see they're not loose anymore and you can see that they're out when compared to the end cap. So to deflate it, you can use any kind of tool like a screwdriver. I use an Allen wrench. When you push on that valve, you hear the air come out. Now it's deflated. Now those segments are loosely fitting together, so you hear them rattle around because it's deflated. So what we would do in, the, in, a, in a rewinding application, of course you can use these air shafts and unwinds or rewinds, but I'm going to take a core, slide it onto the air shaft, and then I'm going to take my inflating tool, and I'm going to inflate that. So now those segments, those leaves, are all the way out and they're grabbing this core. So now this core is locked to the air shaft. And what we do is we take the air shaft, we drop it into our rewind. Now this, um, these are our safety chucks. And I have, I have a separate video for safety chucks. So uh, if you wanna watch the safety chucks operate, just look for the video on our website. And then what we do is, uh, I'll do a couple wraps for you just so you can see how it operates. We stick the, we have some sticky tape on there to hold the web in place. Now I start this up, you see it make a couple of wraps. And that's how an air shaft works. 
and then uh, you can shut this off. So when you want to take this, let's say that's a rewound roll of material, you open up your safety chucks, you cut your web, pull the roll out, and then deflate the air shaft. Slide the air shaft down. So <clears throat> that's how CAC's air shaft works. Uh, also, one of the things I want to mention to you: this whole assembly, including the the, uh, the through shaft, the lightweight through shaft, and the air shaft, is only 19 pounds. So it's very easy for operators to handle. You can handle it with one hand. Um, this one is about 26 inches long. Uh, the length of the leaves are about 26 inches long. And um, so we can handle very heavy rolls with a very lightweight air shaft. Um, one more thing I'd like to mention to you is that the inflating tool is available with a lot of different options. This is one of the more popular options. So if you, if you have a tight area where you want to get the gun into or the inflating tool into, you can, um, you can get it with a 90 degree tip. So you just push it on this way instead of straight. So it's just a, a different option available to you. Thank you for watching CAC's video.